All right, uh, over the weekend, you may have heard the Prime Minister announce that the first clinical trials will begin on a potential vaccine here in this country. Researchers at Dalhousie University will conduct that first trial. Uh, and Dr. Joanne Langley is a vaccine investigator with the Canadian Centre for Vaccinology, and she joins me from Halifax. Hi, Doctor, good to see you. Hi, Rosie, thanks for having me on. That, that's a pretty cool title, vaccine investigator, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, tell me what you and your colleagues have managed to do so far. Well, we um, do vaccine evaluation research here at the Canadian Centre for Vaccinology, and we're linked with sites all across Canada as part of the Canadian Immunization Research Network. And this is part of Canada's um, preparedness for emerging infectious diseases. And so we're going to be doing the phase one, uh, starting this particular vaccine. Uh, as soon as the vaccine is here and we have our research ethics approval, we currently have a protocol and we have lots of people who heard um, the prime minister's announcement who are contacting us who would like to participate. Oh, really? Uh, we have research nurses here. We have uh, a whole complement of staff who will um, greet participants and take them through this trial in a very safe and careful way. Interesting. So do, do you have any sense of numbers of how many people put up their hand and said, I'm, I'm willing to try this out to see if it works? Hundreds so far wow. <laughs> that have uh, just contacted us. We don't actually have an official notice on our website because we haven't got REB research ethics approval, uh, but I'm sure there will be lots. We also did the Ebola vaccine trial uh, for Canada's um, a vectored vaccine, and we had uh, thousands. And wow. we actually inquired with them about why they participate. And the main reason is people want to see science advance. And they also have this altruism about helping people in another part of the world in the case of Ebola, because Ebola uh, illness wasn't here in Canada. Wow, that's, so we that's have lots amazing. of participants. Yeah. So, so uh, of course, you know, we've we've heard the prime minister talk about and others talk about how far away we are from a vaccine. We know there's about a hundred or so on the go in different stages around the world. Uh, what is the sort of timeline for how this will work for our clinical trial here? So uh, we anticipate that if all goes well, we could start enrolling participants in the next couple of weeks. Um, then this is a phase one trial, so it's an early trial. It, it goes slowly. We look at safety data, you know, at seven days, 14 days, make sure that all the participants have, have maintained their good health, and then we proceed with the next uh, step of evaluation. So we're looking at different doses of vaccine and numbers of doses. So do people need one dose or two dose? And so I think uh, at this time in view of the pandemic, things are very accelerated. And um, the whole scientific community is more willing to expedite their review of data as it arises, to um, uh, approve things provided they're safe and effective. So, you know, we could even be looking at a phase three trial where we enroll thousands of people potentially in 2020, I think, if all yeah. goes well. Yeah, it has been a real uh, story of, of global partnership between scientists that's mm -hmm. quite remarkable. How, if, if you were going to, you know, I don't know if you want to put some money on it, but how, how long are we from a vaccine, do you think, given that there is this sort of unprecedented collaboration around the world? Mm -hmm. Well, at the point where you're in a phase three trial, you're enrolling thousands, like tens of thousands, even up to 100,000. So if the emerging data from that study um, was uh, con was reassuring, then you could actually enroll people in a rather larger phase four trial where it would be open to the general public, uh, but you would still be doing monitoring to look for adverse events that occur in larger, uh, that are very rare and that may not be identified until you've enrolled a million people or so. So at that point, it would really be uh, available to a large percentage of the population. With the pandemic 2009 vaccine, the government um, authorized the vaccine in a special way with an interim order. Uh, so it wasn't this slow process of you know 10 to 15 years to approve a vaccine. So that kind of possible, that regulatory pathway might also be uh, available for this vaccine, given Are the you... urgent health need. 
Yeah, are you, Doctor, uh, optimistic? Is that is it, I don't maybe you need to be in your job, but are you are you optimistic that we'll find a solution to this? I am optimistic. There are a lot of different vaccines being investigated, different kinds of mechanisms of engaging the immune system, different ways of presenting the antigen, and uh, you know over a hundred different types of products are in development, and we need all those trials because. Sometimes things are just surprising when they get into humans. Unexpected things happen. It doesn't work, or there's a side effect, or it's just not acceptable. It's too painful at the injection site, for example. So I am pretty confident that scientists will be able to figure out a few vaccines that will be efficacious. I, I know you've worked in this field for, for, for quite some time. As you said, you worked on the Ebola vaccine. I know you worked on the pandemic plan for this country. Did you mm -hmm. ever, uh, did you just expect that this would happen one day or is this all a bit surprising to you as it is to the rest of us? It's certainly, you know, some kind of pandemic it was anticipated. Probably the scope of this with the amount of societal implication we probably didn't expect it to be have this quite this broad yeah. degree of effect on our entire population. Yeah. But it was on the list of things that could happen. It's just the reality of it is something different. Yeah, that, that's quite right. Doctor, thank you for making the time. I, I know you're very busy and I certainly don't want to take away from all of the work you're doing. And uh, our, our yeah. thanks as well for doing that work. Uh, it's so important. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks so much. All right, that's Dr. Joanne Langley. She's a vaccine investigator with the Canadian Centre for Vaccinology, and she is in Halifax today.